since everybody's sharing what they got their significant other for Valentine's Day, I thought I'd share mine. So I got my husband this cute little box, filled it with pictures, all the girls' photos that he's been liking on Instagram. Hope he likes it. So I just got done with her nails and she handed me a ten dollar bill, y'all. Look at her nails. Look at her nails, y'all. Look at her nails. Y'all can't even see, but her nails was worth sixty dollars. Why would you come, ma'am? And she walking out on my set. Like if you broke, just say that. If you if you didn't have enough money, just say that, ma'am. It's okay, cause I'm finna get your license plate. Like you was really just broke. Like if you, why would you bring ten dollars to a nail appointment? Why? It's okay because they got your Facebook name, all of that, so you can go ahead and leave. You lucky I don't call the police on you, ma'am. Get out the car. I'm not finna stop. Hi, my name is Emily Ward, and I made a Google Forms and sent it to people in my town who don't like me. Let's see their answers, shall we? Hello, you don't like Emily Ward or maybe even hate her. We would love to collect some data from you. This is 100% for a TikTok, and your name will be kept confidential. Odds are I don't like you either, so have fun expressing yourself, and thank you for participating. <laughs> okay, so I asked the person's name. Obviously kept confidential. I'm not a snake. Why did you initially start hating not liking Emily? Honestly, no fucking clue. We just weren't close. So my bad. <laughs> to rate Emily's personality from holy fuck I'd rather be friends with a Dorito bag to immaculate. So funny and nice. I got a six. Fuck you. Do you think Emily is mentally ill? If so, please elaborate. They put possibly she dances with a skeleton a lot and thinks we killed her cat, which we did not. Which, by the way, sus. This person doesn't like me because I'm too crazy and I'm a Scorpio and have beef with this person's friends. Fair enough. What is Emily's best physical trait? If there's nothing you think she looks like a goblin who's been trapped in a cave for too long, you might write none. And this person put my height. Thanks, I guess. And this person thinks I will die by falling off the roof of a frat house. So I work at a bakery, and last night a man came in, and he was like, Hey, do you have any caramel cakes? And I was like, yeah. And I showed him our caramel mousse cake. And he goes, perfect. She hates caramel. And obviously I'm intrigued. But I'm like, okay, so I get the cake. He's like, could you write something on it? And I'm like, of course I can. And he's like, would you mind writing good riddance on the cake? And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, I'll write it. And he goes, oh, and can you also, you just make it really girly, like put a bunch of hearts on it. Just make it really nice. Which in my mind, I'm like, it says good riddance. You want a really nice, but whatever. I'm like, yeah, of course. He goes, my girlfriend cheated on me last night. I'm getting a cake to break up with her. Personally, <laughs> obsessed with the energy he was bringing to the table. If you don't believe me, here's the cake. This right here is my life's work. I know it's not going to get better from here. This is the best thing I've ever done. What's the most fucked up thing that your parents told you as a kid that really hurt your feelings? Okay, this by far isn't the most fucked up, but it's what stuck with me most and messed me up. So growing up, I just ate like pizzas, mac and cheese, and hot dogs. Very low maintenance, very cheap. But at 16, I got my first job at the local pizzeria and I started bringing in money. I was paid $100 a week, but almost all that money had to go towards driver's ed and saving to get my license and a car. So my mom already like wasn't making dinner, but she decided now she was done buying me groceries. So every week I had to call my aunt and have her drive me to the store. She lived 15 minutes away. And as soon as I started buying my own groceries, my mom started eating those groceries. So one night I found her eating half a bag of my food and I started crying and I said, I just think parents should buy their kids food. And she said, maybe if my kid wasn't such a little bitch, things would be different. Even if your kid's being a little bitch, it's your responsibility as a parent to feed them. And the fact that she denies this, even though I got it on video. It's not a flex. 
you came to visit me and top my brother off while I was five feet away from you the first night that you were here. You complained to me about how bad your life was to the point where I was like, okay, you can move in with me. And then you slept with both of my brothers for the three months that you lived with me. You only got caught because one of them walked in on you sleeping with the other one. You made everyone in my house believe that my older brother was taking advantage of you, but we knew you were lying once you turned around and said that my twin brother was abusing you. Not to mention how many people did you try and have me and my boyfriend set you up with so you, we wouldn't catch on to you sleeping with my brothers. You put hashtag toxic best friend and had your 30 year old sister call me and cuss me out when I didn't do anything wrong. That's all you, you're in the wrong in this situation. I was just being a good friend. And at least I didn't shove a glizzy